हेलो हेलो I got yours in touch with you. I do. I don't call you. No, nobody calls you. judgment had been passed before now, removing the Chief Justice of Nigeria without a fair hearing. And so it was a fair accomplice. It was premeditated. Judgment had been passed before today. So today's judgment was just a formality. And we hold a view that the, the tribunal has not only breached the constitution of Nigeria, it has breached the fundamental principles of natural justice, equity, and good conscience. Correct. It has not only been able to pass judgment, it has convicted for an offense that was never charged. Yes. And this is an erosion of the fundamental principles of our constitution. And until some questions are answered, for instance, why is it that the due course of justice was not allowed to flow. Why was judgment passed on the 23rd of January before today? Removing the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Why is it that today, even after the Chief Justice of Nigeria had tendered his retirement, voluntary retirement, and the NJC has taken a position, why is it that the tribunal has gone ahead to pass a judgment in total disregard of the independence of the NJC? in total disregard of the powers of the Senate in this matter. Uh, we, we hold a view that the tribunal, having reversed even itself in the case of Unguta, has preached the principles that hold us together. It's a sad day in our nation's democracy, 
And we know that all is not over with this matter. The wheel of justice grinds slowly. It grinds slowly but surely. And this is not a matter that will end here. We shall avail ourselves of all the processes, the hierarchy of the judiciary, and we know that the judiciary will redeem itself, even though seriously battered and bruised. The judiciary will do justice. Justice has not been done today, but it will surely be done tomorrow. If not by tribunal or our, our cause, justice will be done by God. That is our position in this matter. Uh, we are okay with the judgment.